Okay, this video is for my students to show them how to use Microsoft Excel 2007 to create a nice calibration curve, specifically an XY scatter plot. And this scatter plot is going to show a relationship between the percent sugar of our stock solutions, one we knew the concentration of, and the density of each of those solutions. So these density values are ones that I just made up, I put in to use as an example. And these are the percent sugars that we had in class. One thing that we should notice right away, though, is that these numbers don't have the correct number of significant figures on them. So a quick way to alter that, and even if I type this in as 1.00, that it takes it right back to 1 by default. So if I highlight each of those values, and I press Control 1, or I go up here where it says Number, and I click on that, go down to Number, and I change my decimal places. In this case, I want two decimal places in each of my numbers, so I click that, and voila. I have the appropriate number of significant figures on each of these values. I also put in my units up top as I labeled each of these columns. Okay, so I'm going to highlight the data that I want to use to create my graph. And I want my percent sugar to be on the x-axis, that's my constant value. And my variable value, my density, is going to be on my y-axis. So I set it up like this, and I will come up to insert on the top, scatter, and click the scatter button. All right, I had zoomed in here, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. My first task really should be to put this in its own location. So I right-clicked inside the graph and go to move chart and put it in as a new sheet. Okay, so you can see down in the bottom sheet one here is where my original data was, and this chart is the XY scatter plot I just made. Um, right now I'm almost finished, but I just want to format this so it looks a little bit nicer. One thing is difficult to read any of the values, the font's awfully small. I also need a line here, I need a linear trend line, and I need the equation of that line. Okay, so I'm going to come up here to layout, and I don't need that legend, so I'm going to come up to legend and turn that off. And I definitely need a chart title, so I'm going to come up here to title, and click above chart. This is my graph number one, and it's a calibration curve, so it's a pretty appropriate title. Next up, this font is awfully small on my axes, so I'm going to change the font size a little bit. I don't know, make it 24. It stands out a little nicer. And now I'm going to click on my data points themselves. So I just selected one of them. It doesn't matter which one I clicked on. I'm going to right-click on any of those, and I'm going to select Add Trend Line. I want to add a linear trend line, which is already selected, but I also want the equation of that, so I'm going to click on the bottom, Display Equation on Chart, and it has the equation of that trend line. Alright, the only thing remaining is one of the fatal flaws in making graphs. You can never have your axes unlabeled. So I need to come up here to my axes title horizontal axis. I'll display that below. My horizontal axis is the percent sugar. And my vertical axis. You have a couple options here. I think rotated title looks nicest. And this is my density. And I want to include the units of that density, which are grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, I'm set. Good luck making your own calibration curves.